Well, this is Kay from Filter Forge Frenzy. This is where I like to express my joy with a program called Filter Forge, which is a Photoshop plugin, but can also be used standalone. Um, the project I'm going to be doing today is going to be in two parts. And the first part is in Filter Forge, and the second part will be in View. Um, let's go and take a look at what we're going to be doing. This is going to be called Set the Critters Free going to be using this uh, filter here called Fairy Mascot and that's by 3D. It's a filter that you can download and use in FilterForge, one of the nearly 7,000 filters that are available for you to use. Okay, Right, let's take a closer look at this particular filter. Okay, in the settings what we've got is Mascot Mood. He's a bit ha unhappy here. I'm going to make him a little bit happier. Ooh. He's delighted. Um, mascot shape, we can mess about with his shape. We can move where his eyes are, up or down. <laughs> He's really quite fun. And we can also just go wild and run the next variant. Now let's see what happens. Oh, you see, why has he gone all white? Now, the thing is, he's using fur from the image, and I'm actually using a white image. Uh, so I don't want that. I also don't want this to happen, which is where it uses the background of the image. So what I'm going to do is actually modify this filter for it to work the way I need it to work for this particular project, which means I want only happy mascots, and I don't want, I don't need either of these. I want them to force force it with no background, and not to take the fur from the image, but to use these colours here. So we're we'll going in, and we're going to modify this filter so it's more usable for me on this occasion. Edit this filter. Yep. And in we go. Look, it's quite a complicated filter. Um, and we're going to go and find the parts we need. Let's head over here. This is where the background comes in. I want to rip that off because I don't want and I don't need the image there. Sorry, put the image back in. That's my image, it's all white. There we are, it's going back on. So what I've done, this here is locked by lock for preview. So even if I move about other to these and uh, play with these, then it locks to there. Okay, so background is gone. That's good. Should we get rid of that? Don't need that. Okay, let's take a look over here. Fur tint. We don't want to be using the fur from the image. Uh, we want to be using uh, fur from these colours that have been put in over here. So we'll just rip that off. Okay, clear that off, and we'll change the opacity here to um, that way. There we are. We don't want it to be opaque. I probably could streamline this if I wanted to at this point and take some of these out, but I'm not going to. We're just going to, it's a very quick project, so we can leave things be. Now we're going to go and find out where his mood's coming from. Why is he so moody? Ah, mascot mood. Right, what we want to do is ramp up his mood. Not too manic, because he starts to look a bit blunt. And uh, let's see, no, that's, that's just too wild. Very sincere. Okay, I'm going to be making a few of these, so uh, we want to have him matching smiles like they've all been stood in front of a camera and uh, asked to smile and been given a nice little polite smile. There we are. Okay, now look, if we use this U remapping thing here, what we can see is we can see the value that that is putting in there and it's been remapped, and that's the value that that is accepting. So if we take, remember that value, take it off there, 76.5 or 76, we can call it, it doesn't really matter, and we put that value in there. So what we're doing is we're forcing that arc the same as if we had popped that in there. Okay, we know that this needs to be black, that's driven by that, so we're going to take that off. That, oh, look, that's gone, that's gone that way, that must be white in there. It is, look. So what we'll do is we'll force that to be black. 
come on. Yeah, the smiles come back. Look. Right. And what else are we going to change? Opacity. That's set for 23. Let's um, pop that in there. So we know that we like those settings. Did that stay? Yes. Okay, we don't need that anymore. Come on, do any harm to leave it there, but I'm just going to tidy up after myself. Okay, so I'm going to now save this filter. Save filter as my little critter. And thanks, 3D, for uh, such a great little little guy. We like him. Yes, indeed. Right, that will now get saved to uh, the My Filters area in, um, in the Filters launch. Okay, now what we're going to do is just have a quick rass about on uh, this next variant one and see if we get any that we like that we've got there. I quite like the ones with a bit more uh, fuzziness, so uh, let's see if we can find a little charming one like that. Oh, he's quite canny. Let's pop his fuzziness up a bit. There we are. There we are. Right, what I'm going to do now is save that. Save image as you can see I've been working on some of these before, so this is going to be number 7. I'm going to give it 7 JPEG, save, save. Okay. As I said, this is only an image of 150 by 150, which is uh, probably around about there somewhere, isn't it? And um, there, maybe. I only need images that big, and we'll see why in the next session. Okay. What I also need out of here is, I need to use the other render map, which is the alpha as 7, let's call it 7A for alpha, 7, okay, where's the other render map, okay, let's just bring that back to there so I can, oh he's cute, why do I think they're all boys? his face down. <laughs> Alright, fuzziness. Pop up some fuzz. Yeah, there we are. You don't have to wait for it to finish rendering before you do save image. And I'm going to do 8. Okay. Now once again I'm going to produce bunch I've made earlier. I'm going to be working those in view in the next session. This was Kay from filterforge.frenzy and I'll be back shortly with part two of Set the Critters Free.